Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Alpine Stars Toucan Gore-Tex boot, available at Revzilla.com. So new for 2013, Alpine Stars has released the next hardcore iteration to their adventure touring lineup. This is the boot that finally will match up with something like the Tech Road, the Tech ST, their Tech Touring series of products, which are rugged, versatile, protective, and multi-season. They basically took for the Toucan the best of the lightweight and comfort features that they've, see, that they've used on many of their race and sport products and coupled them with the hardcore durability, off-road protection side of things that we see in their tech line on their MX industry-leading boots. The beauty now is we have around a $400 price point. We have a hardcore Gore-Tex off-road riding boot, a really dual sport riding boot that comes in extremely lightweight when we throw it on the scale. We put a toucan on the scale, and this is one of the things that immediately we want to lead with here, two pounds, 12 ounces for a hardcore, fully protected adventure boot, boot when a lot of the competitors are coming in that three and a half, four, four and a half per boot pound range. That's really a feat in and of itself. Now, if we think about some of the other key claims to fame here on the Toucan, full Gore-Tex. It means they partner, they're using the Gore-Tex membrane. It's the highest degree of waterproof breathability, which means that you, know, you can put a trash bag on your foot and be waterproof, but you're gonna sweat like a pig and you're not gonna be comfortable. When you're wearing Gore-Tex, that sweat allows itself to release out from the boot. So there's a Gore-Tex inner booty that's built in, that's non-removable. They use the Gore technologies and then you're seeing most of the exposed parts here are actually full grain leather that breathes the best over top of the Gore-Tex. So it's waterproof, breathable, guaranteed for life. So that said, super rugged, waterproof, breathable, multi-season. It's a four season boot and extremely lightweight. Just on those three points, I would love to hear your comments, feedback, gut reaction to the Alpine Stars Toucan. Leave it to us on our YouTube page. Click here to subscribe. Let's do a quick note on fit as I kind of spin the toucan around here as we get a gauge for both the lateral and medial side of it. Fit-wise, it's Alpine Stars European cut. It's going to be a medium width. There should be no surprise. It's EVA footbed. There's a lot of comfort there. Five millimeters of shock and absorption that are kind of built into the boot. But again, on the A-Star sizing side of things, you're not really going to have many surprises. But keep in mind, we ship for free, exchange for free, no restock if you need to send it back to us. And I'm just going to jump ahead here and note that for you guys with big, beefy calves that automatically think, hey, I wear a high sock, I have, I have really gnarly calves, I do a lot of off-road riding, and I'm in great shape. Even features like this with this flange that allows you to use the wider circumference on this upper, on the top of the cuff, but not have any of that Velcro bite your inner liners, bite on your leg. That flange is going to protect you from the, the micro Velcro on the boot. Again, it's just really well thought out. You know, previously in the Alpine Stars line, we saw the Durbin. The Durbin was Gore-Tex. It was top end. It was really beefy. It was a little too heavy. It was a little bit too much like an off-road boot to appeal to the rider that wants to really come in squarely in the mix of versatility and protection for that you know, is that 80-20 crowd, on-road, off-road, the 70-30 crowd, a guy that wants to be able to immediately turn off the road and hit some either two-track or even single-track on a big GS, depending on how gnarly of a rider you are, and be well enough covered. Now, if you're going the full MX route, remember, Alpine Stars leads the industry on the motocross side of things for those MX boots. Now, let's dip into some of the nitty-gritty here. We've talked about Gore-Tex. We've talked about the main construction in full-grain leather. You're going to see a lot of TPU panels. We see them on the outside. We see them wrap across the toe box that's reinforced, as well as onto the toe. You see them come up the shin. These are TPU panels in a few different places, especially here on the chin. They've stolen directly from the Tech 8 Lite, which was a lightweight, traditionally sold MX style boot. And what they've done, they've given you a lot of shin protection. And even this panel here with this tongue and groove, it allows Alpine Stars to really inject a range of motion into the boot that's going to protect you. Notice that you have full chin protection all the way down, but you're not eliminating your ability to flex and really work your shifter. So again, on the left side of the boot, by having a little bit more feel, it's gonna make you a little bit more comfortable when you're road riding or in your, if you're in a little bit less extreme conditions. Also, another key note to, to, to call out here. Notice the multiple panels of leather here on the front, and notice how it's cut away. You're going to see on the medial side, which is the inside of the boot, the TPU wraps around, and it's a single piece here that's molded that comes up from the side. 
They've exposed the lateral side because they're trying to give you the best, they're trying to cover two bases. Make the boot really lightweight, but expose more of the leather so the Gore-Tex membrane can work. And when your foot's sweating, that sweat can evaporate out so you don't get cold and clammy or you don't get swamp foot while you're riding in warmer weather times of the year. As we rotate around, you're going to see this TPU panel kind of wrap all the way up. Different type of durometer here that's a little grippier to interface with your bike. And then notice it gets shiny again as we go into that, you know, really that raised shin protector panel. You can also see the raised area here along the malleolus on the inside, which is going to cover, it's a dual density protector built into the boot that covers your ankle. Now another key feature here, and again, this is forward thinking from Alpine Stars. Notice your Achilles. It's an elasticated bellows, elasticated system here over leather that's going to give you flex. But notice how it's three panels, three panels of TPU that come together as we wrap around what I consider a really low, low profile but pretty stiff ankle cockpit or heel cockpit. Notice the way the three panels come together, that's done for flex. If this was done like more of a traditional MX boot, you'd increase the level of rigidity and potentially protection, but what you'd be doing is taking away comfort from the boot. So by having three panels that come together or having different areas that kind of meet up, what you're giving is some flex to the boot because it's over not a microfiber synthetic chassis, it's over the full leather chassis, and that really incorporates the Gore-Tex so well. There's a comfort element here. There are a lot of comfort elements, especially when you break it open and we get into some of the buckles that you're going to see from the sport and street side of things, which add versatility to the boot. This, this boot really sits at the intersection of on-road and off-road using kind of the best of the lightweight technologies from Alpine Stars. Now moving up the back, you see Achilles support. You see, again, more TPU bringing things together towards the top. As we end up back on the lateral side of the boot, you're seeing very similar camlock style memory buckles that are aluminum, that have their own snap, that are stolen from the off-road side of the world. They're very streamlined, and you see there's only two. There's only two, not three. We see three on some other adventure boots. Again, they're thinking about weight savings. You're sub three pounds per boot on a boot that does this much. That's a big feat. Moving up towards the cuff, I already opened it in the intro of the video, and I talked about even some of the creature comforts, like this little flange that guards you from the Velcro. You're going to notice the internal guts of the boot are the Gore-Tex liner all the way up to maximize the ability for your foot to breathe. And then you see the 3D mesh towards the top, which is gonna be soft around the impact points where the boot is going to either meet your leg or meet your high sock or your liner, and it's not going to bite you, it's not gonna get in the way. And notice this big gasket here, this big flap that comes across. That's your Gore-Tex lining that comes all the way up. Now if we start to ratchet it back down here, you notice as I snap in my cam lock buckles, you're also going to see there's another material at play. So we've talked about the leather, we've talked about the TPU. There you go, let me snap this bad boy down. Oh, I'm using the wrong one, there we go. As we snap it down, you're going to see suede. Suede for an additional level, level of abrasion resistance in the high use areas. You know, these big TPU panels that house the memory buckles and these cam locks that come all the way across here, that's going to sit on top of this suede area and give you another level of abrasion resistance in high use areas over time. Another key feature, you know, if we home in down here towards this embossed Alpine Stars logo, you can see that wherever these TPU areas are stitched onto the boot, and you see this, even this raised area down here, they're dual stitched and they're recess stitching. If that stitching was exposed, it would have a high degree or it would be, have a high propensity to be sheared or torn if you were to crash in these boots. Alpine starts building this boot knowing you're probably going to go down at some point, and by recessing those stitching, you preserve the integrity of that stitching over time, thus increasing the longevity of the boot. Notice, too, the way that this is smartly designed, and then this is stolen from the motocross world. There's a slight raise here. So for this lower buckle, if this was a little bit more forward, if this raised area wasn't there, if you went down on the low side, on the outside of your foot, you have a good chance of shearing this buckle off. And what they're doing is they're protecting against that. And last thing before I get into the sole here is I want to talk about this piece right here which has give to it, has a range of motion. It's kind of, you know, I look at the SMX Plus boots. I know they're multi-link control or the multi-link suspension on those boots. Again, when you're baking in protection that's dual density, but then you're putting it over top of a hinge, anytime you can add a hinge that has a limited range of motion, you're doing a better job of not transferring impact directly to your foot, your ankle, your shin, and your knee in the event of a get off or the event of a crash. You're introducing some range of motion while still staying protection. Now, one of the things I really do want to call out here, and most people take this for granted, 
independent. This is a Skywalk sole from Alpine Stars. They actually teamed up with Sky, Skywalk to make a super lightweight, three-quarter reinforced shanked sole for this boot specifically. But the way the boot is constructed is it's a true stitch here. It's not false stitching. There's no glue in this sole. So what you see is this multi-density sole that has five millimeters of EVA in it, which is great for shock absorption. And this stitching that goes 360 degrees all the way around the boot is what's attaching the sole to the boot itself. So again, that's more costly to do. It takes more time to manufacture. You know, there are some manufacturers out there as you go down the food chain, as you maybe make less of a cost investment, and you're going to see them really putting the faux stitching on, but having a glue sole. Alpine Stars isn't doing this. They're reinforcing the sole, and then they're stitching it on with this beefy stitching that goes from boot carcass to sole, and that's really the thing that's keeping it together. It's lighter weight, it's more high quality. So moving on from the ideal sole stitching, again, back up to anything I might have glanced over. If we look at the inside, you have kind of the undressed leather with the embossed Toucan logo. And again, it's going to be heat shielded there even as we go up past this grip panel. So it's going to you know, interface with your bike. You're going to have some feel from it. But again, it's nice and completed and finished. Again, you're talking about a boot that's north of $400. So you're really looking at a price point that's an investment. This is an heirloom product that should really last you multi-season. And if we look at the main profile, even if we look at it straight on, I'm going to turn it towards this camera just like that. You can can see how far around the secondary buckle is wrapped behind the boot and they're doing that to really just get it out of harm's way. What you don't want to do is optimize, you want to optimize a boot so your buckles are going to stay in place and not really be sheared off in the event of a get off. So we've talked a little bit about sizing, we've talked a lot about protection, we've talked a lot about comfort, but remember the key claim to fame, protective multi-season really four season boot and then extremely lightweight. I would wager that in the four season hardcore category for off-road boots or for ADV boots, you're getting probably the lightest boot in the mix. And we know from Alpine Stars, from that $150 to $400 mark, there are numerous different boots in the mix for different styles of riding. And also, you know, with the new Land Gore-Tex, we have the Web Gore-Tex. There are different boots in that range, even the Scout, that are going to offer different really different value propositions as you come together with different ranges of features and functionality at different price points. If you have any questions about the Toucan, Shoot our Gear Geeks Alliance, see us at RevZilla.com, 877-792-9455. I mentioned that it ships for free, exchange for free, no restock if you need to send it back to us, just send us back in new condition. And you can buy the Alpine Stars Toucan Gore-Tex boot at RevZilla.com slash Alpine Stars. I'm Anthony, thanks for tuning in, we'll see you next time.